What's up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We're back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored. This is the place where you get actionable ideas, insight, and information to turn your real estate career into a life of freedom and become the rock star agent in your market. Uh, we are talking all about social media, probably heavy focus on Facebook today, as well as live video content and uh, some other ways that you can make Facebook work for you. We've got Nick Sackis back with us to share the results of our uh, experimental um, Facebook page boosting strategy. We're going to share exactly what happened with that. He's got some stuff to share on his end. And so we'll get to him in just a second. First of all, the junior grandmaster in the co-pilot seat, as always, where you so belong, Greg McDaniel. What's up? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> It is going to be a good show. Um, you know, I I don't know about you. I know that you and I did a, a call with our coach today. And you and I, just yesterday, we, we kind of pushed it out into the great big world. We're like the baby birds being shoved out of the nest. We said, hey, every, hey, big world, we are going to do personal coaching. And we are blessed beyond belief to have you guys reach out to us and talk, you know, do our 30-minute you know, in, in kind of inductory call. I see if it's, we're going to work together uh, or if we're not going to be a good fit. But um Man, I love it. I'm blessed that people want to talk to us, but fuck, I'm exhausted, dude. I mean, <laughs> I am a tired, tired creature, and uh, I am, but I'm honored and pumped. I got a couple more calls today, and I, I, dude, I've been pushing this show, this episode, because what Nick did for us and the amount of time and with the relatively small budget with the overwhelmingly awesome return. I mean, it's, it has literally revolutionized the way that I view business pages. And, you know, I'm going to let Nick kind of talk about what he has going on, but it's some cool, cool shit. And I really think that all y'all out there, you I mean, hear what he has, because, I mean, I've always said, fuck your business page, go to your personal page. That's where everybody is. That is changing today. So, Mr. Nick Sackis, my dear good friend, welcome back to the show. <laughs> What's up, gentlemen? Thank you for the very warm and uh, tingly introduction. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tingly? It's, it's, as, it's as Chris a, Lockhead uh, would say, we give you quite a lovely nut tickle to start off the show. <laughs> that was quite a fluff. Yeah, I feel yeah. very fluffy right now. <laughs> exactly. Hey, well, as we all know, isn't, isn't Hank the one that said that McDaniel is a quality, he's a he's a, a, an experienced and quality <laughs> fluffer? <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, what, no, was it? Hank, and then we talked about, talked about dead hookers. Who was that? Something uh, like that. Oh, God, that oh Dale. Show. It was Dale, Dale. Arsdeacon. That was on Dale part of the show, <laughs> yes. Dale is the one that dubbed you a fantastic fluffer. So, oh. uh, so Nick, you are now there on the receiving end of McDaniel's incredible intro fluffing capability. Yeah. So we're all <laughs> been, very excited. I've been very brought excited into to the fold here. Yes, it's been That's very right. interesting. So, you know, <laughs> I – yeah. I told you guys, what, you know, before we, we've been working together for, I don't know, uh, probably a month now. And uh, interestingly enough, when I first came to you and said, hey, I got this ad campaign that's going to get you guys some more followers and some more likes, you were like, okay, bullshit. Go ahead and throw it up and see what you can do. And just in the first weekend alone, uh, we cleared, I think, 8,000, almost 9,000 people. And at more. that point, you realize that it was a real deal, right? So we're going we're gonna to keep this going. And Greg just said, hey, um, let's just put $500 on it. Let's Let's pick a number. Put five hundred dollars on it and see how much we get. And you guys started at two thousand people following your page. I think it was twenty twenty, and right mm. it was right at the five hundred dollar mark. I think Greg, you messaged me like the night before and said, "How close are we?" We were at like four eighty five, and then the next day we were right at five hundred, and you got right over forty thousand likes and new followers to your business page, which yeah is it absolutely was... mind blowing, right? It is insane. Guys, I mean, the stuff that, that, that took place, I mean, Matt and I, like we said on the last show, we were like, dude, you got to check this out. Hey, look what he did. He took us from 2,000 to 9,757 people in one weekend. I was flabbergasted at that cost. And I've seen our show uh, numbers go up. I've seen a lot of things change on that side uh, based upon that. So it is really good stuff. Greg, so the, your, the one uh, question. Check your mic yeah, level. Are you down? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, good yeah. yeah, I think he's I think he's uh, he's a little low on my end, so which is which is surprising, I know. Believe me, I <laughs> there we go. no one is more no one is more uh, flabbergasted uh, that I might tell Greg to turn up his microphone than I am. But, nice. and yet this microphone, I it, this microphone literally wants to jump downwards, fucker. Yeah, Stay up. I know. Okay. I told Greg so, yesterday, you know, he sent me a Facebook, he sends me uh, on Messenger these little audio clips and he's probably the only person that sends me audio clips consistently he said, I think it's, he's the only person in the world that just likes to hear himself talk more than the average person. It's just audio clip, no matter what. It's and true, Greg man. Said, no, I'm dyslexic. I can't use my thumbs while I'm driving. It's too much. So that's fine. 
you know. I don't know. Both of you guys are like, gosh, damn it. This fool again with his stupid <laughs> effing, you know, video, I mean, my microphone recordings. But whatever. We digress. It's, good. it's all good. I, I, Greg. Honestly, Greg, I can't listen to half of them because you send them to me and I'm on another call. Like I can read text. I cannot listen to voice messages that you leave me. I don't care if it's voicemail or voice on a messenger or voice on a text. Like it doesn't matter. It's all just voice. It's audio. I, like I can't listen to it. Well, and so you as long as you're okay with so. me not listening to half of what you say, then I'm no. fine with you continuing to send voice messages. So priorities, let's, let's Johnson. Lesson priorities. And I, need to be, and I need to mm. be number one, mother. Mm. Mm. All right. Two let's let's cover a quick question. I want to get into this before we jump back into the Facebook uh, page stuff. Uh, this is a good question. This is out of the Club Wealth uh, Facebook uh, group, which is run by a good friend, Michael Hellickson, who's been on the show before. Questions from Brandon Landro says, what company or product do you use to create a video from your still photos? And Nick, you had something good for this. So what, what product do you use? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I, I stumbled across a product called Lumen5, L-U-M-E-N-5. And actually, they they basically allow you to take a blog post and turn it into a slideshow. That's their main thing. But you can absolutely upload your own images and create your own uh, slideshow without the blog post. But essentially, take that blog post. So go like, Greg, I know you use Realty Times. It's one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, any blog post and you take that, you throw it in Illumin 5, it'll create a slideshow for you. And then you can modify it, which is really cool. So you can completely tailor it to however you want, create your own from scratch, or take the blog post with the content that's already there. And it's smart enough to know, right? It'll read the couple of sentences that it pulls. And it actually gives you relevant images, which is really cool. Well, no, 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 hold, hold up. So, I, I, well, let's say I go, I go get an article from yep. Realty Times, right? I just yep. go, so I click on the article, five things you have to do before you sell your house. Great. Open up the article. I go up to the URL. I grab the URL and I put it in or I just copy and paste the article. Yeah, no, you get the URL and then you drop the URL inside Lumen5. It'll ask you, like, right when you start, it'll say, what's the URL, okay? And then you drop that in there and then the next page, it'll take... The images, it'll it'll populate it. It'll take the sentences. Say there's 25 sentences in the article, if it's small or whatever, it'll take five or six and turn that into a slideshow. But you can, like I said, you can customize it all the way through if you want. That's awesome. No wonder I've been screwing that up. I, I got to that and I'm like, ah, shit, this is too difficult. I turned around and walked away and I'm like, all I have to do is copy, paste, drop, select, yes. post. That's it. Very God, simple. Even well, you guys are in good hands now. Now, if, you, if if since I can't do it, you know you guys can do it. You guys are rocking and rolling with that. Now, it really does look cool though. People are making them quickly. Yes, that's the point, right? You don't want to spend a bunch of time. We're not designers. Uh, you know, we're real estate yeah. agents. Get in the field, mixing it up. Um, you don't want to spend two hours trying to create one post or mm -hmm. two days, for that matter. <laughs> yeah. No oh kidding. no. Yeah, I was uh, one of the things that's been interesting, Greg, we, as we've been talking to. Um, to folks and I was talking to a couple of people that um, went through our classes uh, in the past today mm -hmm. and it is interesting you know like one, one of them has uh, has an admin person to kind of handle some of this stuff for them they're getting them kind of up and rolling which is awesome uh, because it, there's always that um, there's that tension between you have an activity or a task or especially like a lead gen kind of idea that you could do and there's all kinds of things that we could do right there's some things that don't produce predictable results. They're just experiments, right? I mean, Greg, you and I have this discussion all the time because there's so many things we could do to grow the show. But, uh, you know, Hank gave us a good kick in the butt and basically told us uh, with a, a, something that I think applies to a lot of people's social media strategy too, which is that the growth, what if you had to pick between have a, having a successful business and having a successful show? Or mm -hmm. for most agents, having like a successful social media channel, a Facebook account, a YouTube channel, whatever. Right. That that choice is very revealing, right? Because we, we've always thought about the fact that, well, that those two things go hand in hand, right? The growth of the show, the growth of, uh, of us on social media automatically ties into all the other stuff that we want to do. But if we had to choose between the two, obviously you want a successful business. And yeah. so it's interesting. It's interesting to help people make that that realization of, hey, there's all kinds of things that I could do, but you always want to focus on the things that have the highest and best opportunity for you where you're at in the business right now. So I, I do want to point that out because I don't you know, I don't want the show to be just a, a place where you find yourself being bombarded with all kinds of new things that you could be doing shiny, and then feel like you images. should be doing. Yeah. Yes. Like I, I'm hearing 
I'm, I'm hearing from people that they, they hear so much stuff and they, they listen to this podcast and that podcast and that podcast. And what they come out of it with is guilt sure. for not doing a thousand different things. Right. And you don't, don't need to hear do that thousand, at all. thousand different things. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't hear the guilt side of it, but I, I hear what you're saying. And I, and I believe that you're onto something, you know, wise there. You need to pick what vein or vertical you want to, you know, go after first. Um, but yeah, you can't run around with a chicken with your head cut off. I mean, you're just, you're just, you, you can't get anything done. I mean, it's like having the, what are they called? Like the, when you go to a conference or the, the conference high, you come back with a thousand yeah. different things that you want to do. But like, well, <laughs> what, um, Howard Britton used to do at Star Power, he would give you like, like notebooks like this. And this is a, and this is a thin one, right? This is mm -hmm. just for the, uh, the buyer's specialty, spouse, specialty course. And what he'd do inside is, is this, he would break it down. I'll show you guys, cause this is really an important thing to do. You would come away with your top five things. So you have your Tuesdays, you'd have your top five things, and then you would have your top three things that you're gonna implement at the end of the course. So you wouldn't get that, that you know, deer in headlights look. I think too many times people don't know that they need to prioritize. And Matt, you and I have talked about this on, with several shows, uh, or several times on the show, the fact that people need to, you know, just take a couple of things and go deep on them. Don't go so wide everywhere. Yeah, it's like Amber is commenting, says all caps, yes, I'm a chicken with no head. <laughs> Too many ideas <laughs> and paralysis by analysis. Uh, and so one of the things that uh, that I've been working on with folks as, I, as I've been talking with them is uh, process of elimination, right? So finding the things that they've done either in real estate or even outside of real estate that have worked well for them and then leaning in and getting really consistent, you know, learning how to be consistent with those things. And Nick, you were, you know, you're drawn to digital marketing because you were you were interested in that before you even got into real estate. So for you, it's a very natural fit. Uh, there's a lot of people in our, in our audience that it's not a natural fit for them. And they can either, there's two directions they can take on that. Either one, they can spend a lot of their time turning a weakness into a strength. And for some people, maybe that's the right way to go if you feel like it's really a hidden strength, right? If it is not, uh, as for example, Greg and I on Twitter, where we are the the social media equivalents of uh, baby newborn horses, uh, you know, just <laughs> flopping around like that. Uh, Twitter is not a good investment of our time, oh, uh, and sure. so and and that's where stuff like Nick, like with your program, if if you are a person that that is drawn to Facebook and your audience and your potential clients and your sphere of influence is on Facebook, then lean in. Learn how to learn how to post content. Learn how to do it. Um, you know, work with people like Nick to kind of grow the audience that you can speak to. Because Nick, I mean, you've you've given us essentially a huge audience to to play with with our Facebook page. And thank God we're putting out content already, and we can we can yeah. do even better. But like this is our, like we've found at least for now we found our format and we found our channel, right? And so guys like you are helping us to grow that, but we're, but it's within, we're working on a, how do I put this? It's a weakness within our strength. Sure. Right. Yeah. So I just so, wanted to get that across to people. Just to kind of touch on that. It's, it's interesting because, you know, coming from the reason I'm on this show, let's, let's put this first of all. So the reason I'm on this show, the reason that I've stepped outside of just being a real estate agent, is yes, because I am drawn to marketing and I do have the distinct ability to cut through the bullshit and see what the difference is between what a real estate agent should be doing and what is fed to us on a daily basis through hundreds of bullshit marketers online, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of my message is you guys said, don't go wide, go deep on one thing. Well, we can all agree on one thing that your database is key and it's your entire yeah. business. Mm -hmm. So my message from day one is not, not shiny objects, but let's build a foundation. Your database is online somewhere. And guess what? Most of them are on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've wrapped my arms around Facebook specifically just because it is the largest and biggest platform for what we do. Okay. As far as the demographic is concerned, our customers, majority of our customers are on Facebook. Someone says, Hey Nick, but what about Snapchat? That works. Well, yes, it does work for a tiny percentage, but as far as an overall platform, Facebook is the king it has the widest like reach of audience. So if you're going to wrap mm. your arms around one thing, wrap it around Facebook. Like Matt said, don't worry about Twitter unless you're po like, here's a stat for you. 
Twitter refreshes every eight seconds. Unless you're going to post every eight seconds, stay far, far away from Twitter because you're not going to be seen. Okay. And that's just, that's just the facts. So yes. when, you, when you go on Facebook, you can go to a platform that you can say, I can post one time a day and maybe that'll seem overwhelming at first, but you can schedule stuff out. There's ways to do it, but I can schedule something every single day and make dramatic leaps and bounds in my business and let the people know that already know, like, and trust you have no doubt what business you're in, because that's my message. Surround so your database online. A lot of the times what we put out there and, you know, Matt and I teach us in Get Now Business, uh, what, which this show is sponsored by, GetNowBusiness.com. Go to Get Now Business right now, guys. GetNowBusiness.com. I couldn't be more monotone if I tried. What was that URL uh, one more time? <laughs> uh, that would be Get Now Business, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Um, but you guys, we teach this in the fact that a lot of the times you have to post with things that have emotion. A lot of the times we see people post like, hey, there's a great article, CNBC, about what the real estate market is going to be doing in 2020. It's fucking boring. Nobody cares. If they talk about, hey, watch out for these safety hazards, you know, so your kid doesn't drown. Yeah, there's going to be some reaction to that because there's an emotional attachment to it. And we were talking off air and, and what Nick is going to talk about here is something that kind of combines everything together. And it was really cool um, to learn about this stuff. And I think it's something that uh, I know Matt and I are going to use it. Without a doubt, we're going to use this thing. I know on my team, I, I want to use it. But it's uh, – Nick, when it comes to posting and in in emotions, what, what correlations have you seen there? Because I know I've explained my experiences. What about you? So just to touch on that, and I'll give you kind of a, a ninja hack here too. You know, Facebook's goal – you, you got to look at – what your goal is as a business person as far as attracting customers on Facebook, but you have to know how Facebook thinks, right? Facebook has a global audience. They're, they're a global brand, just like anything else, okay? So mm -hmm. that's, that's one thing to think about. Just think outside your little sandbox of your local market, right? Facebook's global, number one. Mm -hmm. um, number two, Facebook wants to keep people on Facebook. So we already know that the organic reach has shrunk, and they're, they're only maybe a maximum of about 5% where it used to be four years ago. You could get 25, 35, 40% of your audience to see your post. And, um, well, maybe, maybe I should back that up because not everybody knows. If you post on your page organically, not everybody sees it. So if you have 400, 500 followers and you post something, only about 5% of those people, unless you engage with them on a daily basis, are going to see that content. So that's where having a business page, being able to boost something at a very small level to your friends and family and their friends is very, very interesting uh, strategy. But back to Facebook wants to keep people on Facebook. So when you put that blog post that you think is really interesting and it's kind of the lazy way to just, hey, here's some content, what's that going to do? That's going to take people off of Facebook. Mm. Okay. So as far as organic reach, if you can have really good content, say your video, now people are watching your video on Facebook. Facebook is going to boost that a little bit more, They're, that you're going to get more engagement. Instead of 2% of your audience, maybe the 4 or 5%, because it's on Facebook, they don't have to leave the platform. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah. Absolutely. So that's really that's one thing you can absolutely do. And as far as going back, I, I've tested different stuff. Um, you know, We talked about earlier before that I'm, I'm developing a software to help people get engaged. And because of the time frame, you know, a lot of us can spend two or three hours or, or two or three days trying to come up with that perfect post and stuff. And it's a big pain point of all the trainings. People ask me, Nick, what do I post? What time do I post? You know, how do I get all the pretty designs? And one thing you'll notice on social media now that's really popular is quotes. You'll see mm -hmm. pictures of people with their like this. And it's like the quote of the day. Like that's just super popular for whatever reason. So um, uh, the software that I'm that I'm coming out with actually has we've plugged into a developer network. Um, and I'm not pitching this software today. I'm just telling you guys what's coming in the future. But we've plugged into a developer network of about 5,000 people that will submit those type of beautiful posts every single day into your library. And then you just choose them. You go in. You can schedule the whole thing out for two months, three months. Beautiful posts, beautiful graphics. You can put your own logo. It's license-free. You look like you spent 24 hours trying to create something beautiful. It's engaging. And if you want to have the blog post and stuff, too, that will be available. But between beautiful images and, as you guys know, right, um, powerful um, statements or or positive quotes, those are two of the, the biggest things. And then video that will keep people on the platform to engage with you are probably the top three uh, that you can do right now. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Isn't the algorithm what I've heard and may have changed <clears throat> since, uh, since I last saw this? Yeah, it changes. That, <laughs> that, 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 that they're kind of looking for – 
and stuff that's educational, uh, entertaining, and engaging. Is that still relevant? So, so educate or you know, it used to be like, okay, let me just post something to look like an authority. You have to be entertaining now just because you're on a social platform. So that I always tell people that if if you can't be entertaining first and educating on the background, you're not going to get a lot of relevancy. People aren't mm. going to really jive with you because we're not going to Facebook every single day. And that's back to like the high level thinking of Facebook. We log into Facebook to see our friends' pictures, uh, birthday parties, you know, weddings. It's a social network. If you're going on there just saying, I listed this house and sold it for this much more and you should talk to me, people don't want to hear that shit, right? It's yeah. It's got to be yeah. engaged. It's got to be walked. That's why you guys see a lot of this where you pull out the phone and it's the 20, 30 second video. Hey, check out this kitchen I'm in, you know, walking through. It's, it has to be, it comes from a personal level. And then anytime you can have any kind of entertainment, if you can make people laugh, use that. That's a big, big strength, right? Mm -hmm. um, humor is one thing I found. And I posted this in my group, uh, real estate marketing rockstars.com. That's real estate marketing rockstars.com. I was only two, Greg. I think you had five or six, but I think, I so, think we've got about 17 plugs to go, Nick. <laughs> um, one, of, one of the most popular items, the most shared, the most viewed, the most viral of any category on Facebook is food. Yeah. And you think wow. about how many times you scroll through your feed and you see people, the overhead shot, the tasty videos, everybody's preparing. So if you know that food's number one, what's the heart of the home is the kitchen right so why not do more videos inside the kitchen highlighting the kitchen highlighting a recipe i'll, I'll share inside with you guys one of my next actual listing videos we got a 1.1 million dollar listing coming up i shot a video with a professional chef we cooked a snapper inside the home and it's going to be a five minute video that runs inside facebook as a commercial it highlights a local business that's how i'm showcasing the house is in the kitchen it's cooking with the Sackis group. Like that's mm. the kind of shit that gets people engaged with your content, right? So like Nick, one of the things I've been talking about doing and I've been too much of a pussy to go, just get out and go do it um, is go out and talk to local businesses like that. But I was going to go talk to a local chef and, 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 and not cook the food, but go taste it and pair it with a beer or a wine or a mixed drink or whatever we should be paired with uh, yeah. and then kind of highlight them on that side. Um, and that's your strength. You're wearing a hat that says IPA for God's sake. So obviously you know what you could talk about that shit for hours. Other people oh, God, are going to yeah. resonate with that. Right. So mm -hmm. it's whatever your strengths are. I love food, obviously. I mean, it's a big deal. I know this guy who's a professional chef. He owns a restaurant locally. It was a perfect fit. As soon as I read that article, I said, holy shit, I got to do it. I got to The next listing we get, we're going to cook something in that kitchen. Um, I haven't launched it yet, so I don't have any numbers for you, but I know it's going to be successful. I can already, just from the video and the feedback we've gotten so far, it's been awesome. That's a great idea. I know a couple of chefs that I, they're kind of big deals, and you know, I'm, they, I think they would come out to a gourmet kitchen at think a house, it. throw it down, you know, maybe do it for brokers tour, uh, and then, yeah. you know, have them. I don't know, have them serve it up, but film the whole prep process, the whole cooking process, talk about the cooking times. Like Gordon Ramsay, dude, he has that like like, like that executive like cooking class. You can pay like 99 bucks for it. You can learn how to cook all this cool shit. He makes it look so easy yeah. out of his like drop dead gorgeous kitchen in his, you know, London sure. home. And, and I'm sitting there, I'm staring. I'm like, damn, that's a good looking steak. I can do that. Yeah. I'm like, how long have I been staring at this? I got to snap out of this. <laughs> But that's that, so that article was from was from I think it was Buzz Sumo. If you want to look it up, uh, I don't have the URL or anything, but it was such a big number. If it was out of a hundred, food was like ninety one. The next best segment was humor at like forty. Like there was such a big gap between one and two. And by the way, real estate was like the basement. It was like ten. So if all you're doing is posting your listing videos, you, you've, you're you're losing. Nobody you're cares loser. <laughs> no, I'm you sorry. have to it's a necessary evil but at the same time um and i, I was dude trust me like i'm still figuring all this out i'm working i'm an agent just like you guys i'm just trying to do what's the best that i could possibly do at the moment that i'm doing it in yeah. and um i've i was there two couple years ago posting nothing but just the bullshit you know just listed just sold i here i am in this house um so i've been there trust me uh but oh, there's yeah. a better way
You know, yeah. I, I, I'm the same way. That's why I can say loser like this because I'm not talking to anyone else except for myself because, I mean, let's be honest. You know, the reason why Nick, you and I and Matt are, are on the podcast is because that we, we we were the blind people in the dark room bumping into the walls, getting the bruises. Now we found the fucking door. Now we can move forward, open that thing up, shine the light and let everybody else come out and follow us and say, hey, guys, don't bump on, don't, don't bump into these other walls. Go this direction yeah. and you're going to be able to get out and be seen more. You know, sure. and I think and that's, that's just because it's so confusing. You say social media, people get overwhelmed, you know, and, and you, you think about, well, what platform am I supposed to use? Am I, what should I do on Instagram? What should I do on YouTube? What should I do on Facebook? What should I do on Twitter and Snapchat and next door and all these different things? And you just, your brain wants to explode and then you don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Yeah, well, and I think that's it's, why it's, hel it's helpful to give people <clears throat> like a context or a framework to put that in, which is. Right. You know, marketing is about relationships. Yeah. You know, I mean, just like you said, I talked about, you know, earlier, putting a wall around your database, like looking, looking at things through that lens of what and who your database is will help tell you and, and narrow down kind of where to focus your social media time on. Right. And this goes for anything. It doesn't matter whether it's social media. That's just an example of what we're talking about. But <clears throat> one of the things I've noticed just in doing the calls with people is that a lot of people, a lot of the people that we're running into, I would say, and Greg, tell me if I'm wrong on this, but a lot of the reason that people have reached out and, and the reason they reach out to you for the McDaniel challenge and the same reason why they were, they're reaching out to us again to chat again is that they're, they're saying, look, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I want to add something to it because I'm doing X, Y, and Z and it's not getting me the results that I want to get. So I want to add something to it, but I don't know what that is, right? And so they're looking for us to tell them Right. So to, to, you know, talk to them for a while and be able to tell them, oh, yeah, you should go you should go do Rockstar Connect. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you should go do this. You should go do that and, and just tell them what to do. And the interesting thing about it is. The, the only one that can really make that decision is them, because it's, it, it comes way more down to their their level of consistency and their level of intensity in terms of how they approach their lead generation. And Greg, you and I could never approach Twitter with consistency <laughs> and intensity. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, you know? No. Um, and, and, we're, and we're, you know, we are successful, determined, goal-oriented, ambitious, you know, like, like, ooh, like, you know, like we're all those things, right? We're, we're a freaking coach's wet dream. Um, but, you know, <laughs> and that's Chris, Chris Callahan, like, this is part of the background. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. But uh, but no matter how ambitious and goal driven and, you know, driven by our calendars and no matter how how much we are, all those things, mm -hmm. you can't really make us do something that we really don't want to do and isn't a good fit for us. And the bottom line is that most of our audience, the, like the people that we're in relationship with, they're on Facebook. To a limited extent, they're on Instagram. Some of them are getting it into Snapchat. Honestly, most of the people that I, that I know of are on Snapchat not to do it for the social side. They do it because they're they're experimenting with it for the business side, and that's a very yeah. different thing, right? So, and and we do that stuff because we're not thinking about it in terms of relationships, right? So, if you look at it through that lens of look, this is this is about relationships, and how do I build more relationships with the people that have a connection to me already and are going to have a need for what I do, which is all about what we teach and getting out business? Then you're going to automatically weed out some of those areas, Nick, like you talked about, where look, there's just like no, people aren't building relationships on Twitter like they used to. Now, yeah. it used to be different. Right. Um, somebody told um, uh, Chris, Chris Lockhead, who was on an episode of Legends and Losers here a while back, he said basically Twitter right now is like shouting into a cocktail party. Right. It I is. Mean, you know, and that's just a quick example. We're not here to beat up on Twitter and say that Facebook is the king. Who knows? I mean, Facebook could end up being the new MySpace. You never know. Something else could come along and knock it off its throne. But anyway, I just think that having having a better lens that you look at things through will help a lot of people. And the best lens that I can think of right now is marketing is about relationships. Your entire business is about relationships. It's about the conversations that you have. And Nick, what you're talking about with, with everything, really, with with having some some leverage in the content that you put out there in being able to put it out in front of more people on your business page. Really what it's about is it's about starting conversations. Yeah. So step one, right? The, one of the reasons why I'm on the show today is to talk about instant social proof, which is a new four day training that I just launched uh, last week inside real estate marketing rock stars. 
two plugs in one sentence. How about that? So uh, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. You're catching up with me. Analysis by paralysis. Yeah. Can't do it. So, Can't do it. so if you think about step one, and, and this is what I, I really try to help people conceptualize what's really going on in the marketplace and why Facebook is such a big conglomerate. And we think about how we always think about Facebook on a local level, like my local market, because as realtors, we are, we always talk about our local market and my neighborhood here. And I want to be a specialist here, but here's an interesting concept. Okay. How powerful number one, is it to say WWW, right? Not to put you guys on the spot. We all know what WWW means worldwide web, right? Okay. Everybody has a website. I, I thought it had something to do with wedgies, but okay, go ahead. No. Okay. So everybody has a website. Cameras. More often times than not, real estate agents are sitting in front of a table. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I'm going to put your house on the World Wide Web, and it's going to be cast out on five, six hundred, eight hundred, a thousand web pages, and we're going to get this out to the masses and sell your home immediately. How does that sound? Great. Sign me up. Great. But then when it comes to Facebook, um, well, I only have 300 followers and they're my friends and family and that's pretty much all I have, right? <laughs> and then I tell people, well, there's a better way. Why not attract people from around the world on your Facebook page and engage with these people? And they go, oh, Nick, I don't want anybody from around the world. Why, why would that matter? Uh, it's got to be local. I only need local people on Facebook. Facebook's <laughs> worldwide. It's the same message. It's the same exact thing. That's, hmm. that's the first thing. Second thing. One of the most powerful things you can have in business is a review, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has the five-star review. We go after the five-star review. It's a big deal. Someone goes to your page, your website, your Facebook, your Google. They see a five-star review. They feel warm and fuzzy. Now, if they go to your Facebook page and they see that, hey, only 300 people follow this guy, and he's supposed to be a social media expert because that's what he just told me at the listing appointment, and I have more fa fans on my page, my personal page, than this guy has in his business. Um, Problem. You think you're going to get that listing? <laughs> or, or Probably not. Like my, my Uber driver the other night who has a million views on his YouTube channel that's all about yeah. ride sharing. He right. does? So the I, same, I, kid, I kid you not. The same message that you can have when you're sitting in front of a seller and saying, I'm going to put your house on the World Wide Web – because I'm an internet marketing genius, but I only have 300 people on my Facebook page. If you take my course and do what I tell you to do, now you'll have 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 people follow you on Facebook. You can build that community of people mm -hmm. to know, like, and trust you. And now you can say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, not only am I going to put you on the World Wide Web, I have 20,000 people that follow me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's a That's top 1%, half percent of agents in my market, go check other realtors pages. Most of them have 300 people that follow them. I have 20,000. It's like a review. It's almost as, as powerful as a review because you get that social proof. And that's why it's called instant social proof. Com. So Nick, here's a question for you. What is, what is, what is too much? Is a couple million too much? Is it, It's totally up to you. So I, I created this as a launch pad, right? Mm -hmm. there, there's two sides to this coin. And because I saw this as a problem. So the first side is, Yes, there's the instant social proof of anybody that goes to your page is going to see you have thousands and thousands of followers and that you can present this to someone as a true added value because it is. Now you have more people to market to. And then number two, because of the way Facebook works, and this parlays into the software that I'm creating, which is getting more engagement or like you just follow my instructions and say, do the videos, do more engaging content. You can do that all on your own. But the more engagement that you have on your Facebook page, Facebook says, oh, hey, this guy actually knows what he's doing, and he's getting people to engage on our platform. We like that. So if he runs an ad, we're going to reward him because he has more engagement on his business page. And guess what? Your ad cost is cheaper. You get more reach. It, you get There's so many benefits of having more followers and more engagement on your business page from a paid cost perspective. It's, it's stupid not to have this set up on your page. So in all essence, I mean, it, what you're saying here is the fact that let's say, you know, you and I and Matt, we were messing around and we looked at, uh, you know, what was a huge amount of followers, right? I'm like, ah, Coca-Cola. I'm like, that, 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 that Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. 105 million followers. I'm like, well, there's my mark. I mean, <laughs> and I ran that's, the numbers. So that's so going, at, that's going big, right? You got to look at the market. So look at your service industry. And this isn't necessarily just for realtors. I happen to be a real estate agent. So this is what the market that I'm in. This will work for any small business. If you're in a service business and you present your service in front of somebody, look at the other business pages around you. 
Mm-hmm. I found when I started doing this, most realtor pages have less than 500 people that follow them. And you look at a big brand in your area, like Greg said, it's a hundred thousand plus and million. we tout ourselves, even if we're not, I, just because I teach social media marketing, I know this I, and I, I give people the tools so that they can puff their chest out to a seller. Cause that's what they want to hear now is that we are social media experts and our job is what we're real estate agents. We're marketers and we negotiate contracts. I mean, that's, right. we're supposed to be professional marketers in our job title. We're marketing your house for sale. So it, that in perspective, if you can't have thousands and thousands of people actually like you and follow you, why would a seller trust you? It's just something that has never been put on the table, but now you can put this on the table and say, look, I'm an expert. I have thousands of people to follow me. Wh- whatever agent you're interviewing doesn't have this, I promise you. Hmm. That's interesting. It's a, it's a unique way to look at it. And what I really think is is, a, is a something powerful there is the fact that if you do an upfront cost and you get more eyeballs onto your page, like you talked about before, you know, a, a good looking kitchen in, you know, California is a good looking kitchen to someone in Dubai or England or yeah. South America or something else, right? There's engagement there. But the cool thing is, is the fact that as since Facebook is a global brand, you can then get, then if you go global, then you get to take advantage of the micro niche at a reduced cost, but then right. you have social proof built on on top of it that you really know what you're doing. So ultimately what you're saying here is that you're going to spend a little of money up front. We're not talking much. We're talking like, well, I mean, if you spend two grand in this product, you're going to get a shit ton of, of yeah, eyeballs on this crazy. Thing. I haven't spent two grand yet, but yeah, so. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to spend, for 100 million followers and likes, it's going to take $16,750, so I know my mark. <laughs> <laughs> All we have to do is. <laughs> <laughs> World domination, right, so, so here we come, then, Johnson. <laughs> I'm curious, Nick, what, what would you recommend to do? So what, what's the next step after that? So, so let's say you, 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 know, you have all these followers on your Facebook page. <clears throat> so now what do you do with them to, to keep them engaged so that Facebook you know, continues to show your posts right, and you, right. you get the engagement, you get the credibility, and you, and you don't just start losing people? Man, yeah, so the- videos. It's cat videos. Yeah, cat, cat videos. videos. <laughs> okay, that's it. You heard it here, folks. Nick Sackis officially recommends cat videos. Oh, um, Jesus. Can they, can, they be, can they be strangling cat videos, or do we have to be nice? Hey. Hey. You're that's... not coming to my house ever again, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. I, I, would simply, I would simply start with the once-a-day posting strategy. You know, pick mm-hmm. something one, one time a day. There's a grid, and I, maybe I'll give it to you guys. I have it on my computer where you can – there's, there's different types of posts that you can actually schedule out. I'll probably include this in the software too, where one day you might do a video, the next day it'll be a blog post, the next day it'll be an engaging picture. But here's the most important thing. It's, it's kind of like the most important thing when you get a lead is you fucking follow up with them. If you post something that's engaging and someone likes it or someone comments on it, you have to engage with them because yeah. it's the same shit. If you just let it, if they like it and then that's it, it's done, it doesn't matter. If someone comments, you create a conversation with them. It's part of the deal. Yeah. And and Facebook tracks all that stuff. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's engagement and then following through with acknowledgement. Uh, I was I was talking with Chris Lockhart about this the other day because uh, he interviewed um, uh, a really big guy in Hollywood. He works in Hollywood. He was the guy that uh, created the first – like reality TV series Apple has ever done, uh, Planet of the Apps. And then he went on to do the reboot of Fear Factor for MTV. Like, you know, uh, insane guy. Yeah. And so he was he was telling kind of what what's coming down the pipe for social media and content and all this stuff. And Nick, you're spot on, right? It's not enough that they engage with it, right? So So the days of us putting up content and just people like it, and then we're yeah. our job is done, and we're on right. to the next thing. Like that's over. I mean, t- t- talk to Ronnie Phillip, guys. Uh, look at what he's doing with the Ronnie Phillip show, and and look at what he's done with building a tribe of people that help him by sharing his videos authentically on their Facebook pro- personal profiles. Um, he is also really, really good, and, and Greg and I are trying to catch up in terms of how we how good we are at this. But when somebody comments on a video, like he thanks them, he reaches out. If it, if he's not already friends with them, he friend requests them. Uh, then he's leveraging that and, and connecting with them on Instagram. He's you know promoting his Snapchat in his case because he's younger, and so he's getting, connecting with a lot of people there. And it's just it's it's hard to wrap your brain around sometimes. 
but not when you think about it the right way. When, it, when it's in terms of thinking about it in relationships, you realize, oh, wait a minute. I can't just parachute into a cocktail party, say something, have a bunch of people laugh, and then like shoulder roll out of the nearest plate glass window and go running down the street <laughs> and expect right. that that's going to get me deals. Like that's the equivalent of what we've been doing on social media this whole time, right? So right. it's just – it's one of those things where we've been kind of – we treat social media as like it's not the real world, and for a while it wasn't, right, because Facebook was helping us out or iTunes helped us out or whatever, and they would put our stuff in front of more people just if there was enough engagement with it. Well, eventually the algorithms catch up to the way human beings actually behave. Right. And guess what? It starts being more human again, which is kind yeah. of funny. Like it all goes back to just relationships. We're trying to build relationships at scale. Uh, I think it more, probably more – even more now than ever – uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's very, very first book on uh, called Crush It, mm -hmm. where he just talks about, he's like, dude, just reply to everyone. Start everyone. Conversations. Reply to every email, every text, every tweet, every Facebook message, every comment, right? right. And, and for a long time, I was like, no, like there's got to be a better way. I don't know that there is. The people that no. are doing it get better results. That's the bottom line. I think there are some that get away with not doing it for whatever reason, Seth Godin being one of them. But well, he's if you're a huge not name. him yet, he's a huge name. And if you're not there yet, a faster way to get there is to do what Gary did. Yeah, you know what? And I think you know Eric was asking a question here on the on the feed. How do you get back to 100 100 likes? You know, <clears throat> in, in in a day. And the response is you set the fuck down and you respond. You know, if you're if you're sitting having a beer and watching the bit ball game, dude, have the phone up, respond, yeah. like, yeah. text. I mean, Matt, you stayed up to 11:30 the other day. You know, doing what you're your 50 20 50 25 one. You know, regiment that you and I are, are working on doing. I, I try to respond to every single comment on our podcast days, and then on the the live pro, uh, prospecting calls, I try to respond to act every single one. I'll go home. I'm exhausted today, but I'm, when I'm gonna when I go home and I sit my ass down, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna bust out the iPhone, just real like respond, voice message, like respond, voice message. You know, it's that all the way down the list to try to engage with people, and I I, I try to not do it as well. But it, it, you know, there's just no way around it. But if you guys want to go out, like Nick was talking about the, the chefs, if, if you're maybe a little bit more timid and shy, you're more an S and a C, a little bit more of a homebody, an agoraphobe, just like Johnson, you know, what you can do, <laughs> he's too tired to even respond, so fun. Um, you know, there's a, there's, I'm putting right now into the, into the links here uh, a, a site called uh, Coop Out. So C-O-U-P-O-U-T, Coop Out. And what this does, it will give you an opportunity and an excuse to go talk to a local business and create a digital coupon for them, which then you can help bo boost and promote and push out there. Because if you can go out and create a coupon to get more clients for them, and then after you do that, ask to do a video with them and highlight a meal to get more people in to take advantage of what you showed them, it's a win-win situation. And that site, actually, the owner said he created it because he would get uh, on a on a yearly basis, he'd get about one referral per business he was, you know, helping promote. So you help the re restaurant, they in turn help you, and it costs like 30 bucks a month to do this coop out thing. It's really, a, it's a very intuitive system. It's very intuitive. Well, besides the system, so that's really interesting because think about this, right? And people ask me, okay, well, if I buy instant social proof, Am I going to get listings from it? Am I going to get buyers from it? What what exactly is it? So it's it's step one, but I will tell you, I have 20,000 followers on my page now. Greg, they have 40,000, okay? I have a local podcast. You guys, of all people, know how powerful podcasting is. I think everybody should have a local podcast in their market to help them be the rock star, right? Mm -hmm. But since I've gotten 20,000 likes on my business page, the conversations have completely changed with the business owners that I'm talking to. When it used to be, hey, this is Nick Sackis. I'd like to highlight you on my show, local podcast. Well, um, okay, but what does that really mean? How much money does it cost? Now it's, hey, it's Nick Sackis with uh, the Tampa Business Spotlight. I'd like to have you on my show. Uh, by the way, I have 20,000 people that follow me. I'm going to put you in front of those people for 30 minutes to highlight you as a business owner. How soon can I be on? <laughs> so, so step one, step one, get that social proof. It's a big deal. I'm telling you. Then go to your local market. The business owners are such an untapped market. It's sickening. We spend all day calling for sale by owners and expires and all these people who don't want to talk to us. And yet there's 500 businesses within a, a mile range of us that we can go create value and relationships with, pull out our phone, do an instant, just 
Facebook Live video. Hey, this is Joe with uh, Joe's Deli, and today's special is this, that, and the other. And if you come by, go to Coupon, create the coupon. He'll get ten, a free drink with this this uh, purchase. And you're on his audience. He's on your audience. People resonate with that. It It's just it's crazy how much opportunity there is with social media marketing and how easy this stuff can be instead of just banging our heads against the wall all day long, calling people that don't want to talk to us, get local business owners, engage with them. You know, it's just like an REO business or a short sale business. You get a relationship with a bank, they throw you a hundred deals a year. You get mm -hmm. 10 of those banks, you got a really good business, right? You yeah. get 10 businesses you have a really good relationship with. You're their point man. When it comes to real estate, they refer you 10, 20, 30 deals a year. It's part of your database. Yeah. But it can be so much more leveraged than just an average person because they're a business owner that come across thousands of people every single week and month. It's it's crazy. It is really crazy, guys. If you, if you guys are going to go out and start doing that, if you're listening to this, I'm holding up a microphone. It's called a Smart Lav. It's a lavalier microphone. You clip it on your shirt. This goes into the bottom of your phone. This will, get, this will give incredibly good audio. Matt and I, the first time we really played with this, we were outside at an event. Uh, it was a little windy out. Um, we just held this thing between the two of us, almost gave perfect audio. Make sure that if you're going to do these interviews, guys, that you have a, a somewhat decent microphone. Yeah, like this important. thing. Audio is hugely important. If you want any, you know, if you have any questions about mics, lights, setups that are incredibly affordable, we could get you a full light setup, a microphone, and a camera for under 350 bucks out the door. Boom, done. Ready to start, you know, setting up and doing recordings in 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 uh, in, um, in businesses around your town. When in reality, dude, get this thing. Go stand outside. It's 80 bucks. You're in business. Yeah, not that hard. Cool. All right, guys. There's a couple questions that uh, that caught my eye that I'd love to see if we can knock out before we uh, shut this particular one down. Uh, Nick, why don't we? Why don't you remind people where they can uh, reach you before we jump into that? So uh, the group that I actually founded is realestatemarketingrockstars.com. I drop all kinds of nuggets in there on a daily, if not weekly basis. We do webinars, all kinds of live stuff. So realestatemarketingrockstars.com is where you would go to get ongoing information about social media. And I'm, I'm documenting my journey. So everything that I'm doing, I give to everybody. And here, try it out, you know, where, wherever you guys are. The, the uh, fish chef listing video is one of them. I, I told everybody about that a couple you know, weeks ago. So um, yeah. there's that. And then instantsocialproof.com is the training that I have. It's $97 right now. So for you guys as part of the launch, this is the first week till uh, October 31st. Anybody listening to this show uh, will have the opportunity to purchase the four-day training for $97. After October 31st, it's going to go up to $197. That'll be the full price. But uh, act today. Mm -hmm. until October 31st. So anybody listening, uh, it'll be $97 and it's instantsocialproof.com. Again, it's a base. I want to give you guys a base. If yeah. you're not doing any kind of marketing online, if you're just going on listing appointments, it's a, it's a big deal to say you have 10,000 people that follow your page. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's another page that you can put in your listing presentation. And then if you're going to go out and be a local celebrity, like everybody should, whether you have a podcast or you just want to go out to different restaurants and, and highlight local businesses, which you definitely should. Um, part of that, having that social proof and you can talk to the business owner and say, Hey, I got 20,000 people. I want to share my audience with you. Uh, it's, it's a big deal. It'll open the door for you. It'll take away the gatekeeper, you know, kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it'll really, really help. Trust me. Yeah. And they're not doing it guys. I mean, I talked to a guy named Rodney Worth here in our area. Uh, very well-known chef has five restaurants. Um, and I called it, called his flagship restaurant, and asked to talk to him. The, the chick in the front goes, oh, my God, you want to do a video with Rodney? That's exactly what I've been trying to get him to do. This is amazing. So, I mean, they want to do this stuff. They just don't have the time. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the equipment. They don't have the audience. They don't have, every, they have, they don't have everything that you already have. So you are a resource. This is a positive thing that you guys are doing for your community. And then you can go do, you know, touch ups and come back to people, do a cycle of videos, do a cycle of businesses, do like every quarter or, or, or every half, every six months, go back and hit the same people and do a touch up. What's the new thing that they got going on over there. That will strengthen right. that bond tremendously. And now you're uh, not just talking about real estate, right? Mm -hmm. It's your face is in front of people, but you're talking about something that's also important, which is local neighborhood businesses schools if you have any relationship with principals your Ooh, kids no. go to school like go no, to the school no. and interview the principal i mean like that kind of stuff people will resonate with that 
Guys, yeah. I've talked about my four video marketing pro, uh, idea, well, platform that you guys can spend 140 bucks a month on and be able to do four different videos for seven days a week out. Very easy stuff to do. Um, and it's a lot of fun to do. If you guys, and also, here's another thing. As you go through these different businesses and you're creating that goodwill, then you guys, if you guys go do the networking events, you can pick out your prime location that you want to do one with. Like I do with Rockstar Connect, right? My boy Nick over there helps me throw just awesome. I've had like four people hit me up for my last event, you know, eagerly wanting to connect and exchange business and learning how to grow together. Um, mm -hmm. And Rockstar Connect throws business, you know, throws events for me. But here's the cool part. With you being friends with all the other businesses, you invite them to bring all of them and their clients over to the said restaurant or location. They're going to be more apt to promote you and your event because you're already bringing value to them. So you get a ton of value out of this thing on a whole new level of stuff too. And it's coming from contribution. I mean, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you're going to get business from it. But the the overall first impression is you are coming from contribution, connecting local businesses, and it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so huge. So huge. Yeah, like All right, let's uh, let's shift gears a little bit in the last few minutes that we have left because there was a couple of good questions um, that I spotted. Uh, one is from the Legion Scripture Injections Group. This is Craig Villar. It says when circle prospecting and there's no answer, <clears throat> or you leave a voicemail, when do you try calling again? Uh, so when does that? I don't know. I'm curious, Greg. Does it automatically put it back into the rotation? And if not, like when do you specifically like reach out to that same area again? And kind of like, what's the limit on how frequently you would like just dial through that freaking same neighborhood over I, and over again? You guys need to give it at least 30 days, at a minimum of 30 days if they don't pick up. Okay. But also change your message. Don't be like, hi, this is Greg McDaniel with McDaniel Callahan Real Estate Team, which a Rock Cliff Realtor is here in town. I'd like to talk to you about book. That's gonna that's gonna be what happens to your to your leads because they're gonna be like oh crap okay. another one's gonna be you know hit me up so this is the message that I leave it is so okay. simple so precise it gets ridiculous callbacks it's this hi this is Greg when you get a chance give me a call 925-915-1978 thanks bye click <laughs> guys I get people calling me all the time um hello uh, <laughs> who is this oh hey this is Greg okay. <laughs> oh yeah i was just doing some calls oh yeah are you guys thinking about selling no okay <laughs> hey thanks for your time but i did get a guy yesterday you know he called yeah. me up he's like hey you called me i'm like i did he's like good I'm like great <laughs> uh he's like i'm thinking about selling He's like, amazing. <laughs> that was, that just, I don't know that why was... it reminded me of that Budweiser commercial, Bud Wise. Or it was like the, the tone <laughs> the that you just, Great. Oh, man. Ah, awesome. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah. But, right. I mean, I, I would do a minimum of 30 days, guys. I've had people yell at me, like friend, mothers of friends of mine that I went to high school with. This is their response. Greg, you've called me every two weeks. I get it. We will call you when we're going to sell. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, bye. <laughs> I hung up the phone right. at that point. I've, I've, got, I've got an oh, excellent, no excellent question for you. It's very pertinent to our current discussion. Oh, God. Eric, Eric Dube or Dube, um, hopefully it's not Doobie. Um, my apologies <clears throat> for any of the above pronunciations because I'm very tired. Uh, Eric says, hello, everyone. Quick question. Is there a way to play music while using the Mojo dialer and have the music automatically pause when someone answers? Yes. Let me, this is a breaking, this is, I mean, this is legendary technology. Okay. The mute button. <laughs> it's amazing. It, the first time I saw one, it blew me away. Okay. But in all honesty, people ask me that on a consistent basis. They're like, how did, I mean, does it just turn off automatically? And I do, what I do is I sit here with my hand resting right over the mute. As soon as I hear the beep, boom, mute. Okay. Now, now for all of you who are listening and can't see the video, I just want to explain what's going on. Greg has giant uh, DMV lady nails. And what? <laughs> 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 and what's happening is that he picks up the key. He doesn't. Greg doesn't have to like. He can. He can hit that mute button on the keyboard from like three feet away. Like he wow. just tap little little tap little of that fingers. long extension nail that's like painted with like unicorns and flowers. It just like one little like reach out and bam, he's got that thing muted. Tink. Just just so everybody just so everybody this this listening and can't see the video just oh, knows ex God. accurately. What, like yeah, when you meet Greg in person, you'll see what I mean. Uh, he has to shake hands very carefully. 
Uh, you don't you break that nail, fool. I will break That's right. you. That's right. Mm. <laughs> More importantly, though, what do the toes look like? Are they any, exactly. any extension? Why, why do you Ooh. think Greg doesn't wear scary? shoes? He only Ooh. wears sandals. I'm just saying, know? cargo shorts and sandals. There's a reason. Men get pedicures. Real men get pedicures. So buck up, buck wow. up. It's, mm -hmm. Oh, hashtag real men get pedicures. Greg McDaniel, <laughs> 2017. Hey, that was actually a basketball thing. They, they just did a thing. I, I forget who, who did it. Some basketball team. They, the, the guy goes, coach says, hey, if we win tonight, everybody gets free pedicures. They won. Guess who got, got free pedicures? The whole team. But I guess that's a big thing. Yeah, you're not going to catch me with my feet in water getting massaged. Just say that, really, that would not really be a reward that for me. me. No. Uh, that, yes. that, 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 that oh, my God. Mean. Frank, that reminds me. Oh, man. Oh, the last God. time I was in – so this was, a, this was a couple months ago. Uh, I'm hanging out with Frank from Viral Marketing, and he's like, Johnson, as, he's, <laughs> as he does. Johnson, we're going – I'm going to treat you. I'm like – Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking that the last time he did this, he wanted to go like get a deep tissue massage at Caesar's Palace. I'm like, for God's sake. All right. So what, what are we doing? Are, are we going out to eat? Are we? He's like, all right, we're off to the mall. I'm like, oh, Lord, the mall? Where, where is Frank going to go in the mall? <laughs> <laughs> the lady shoe massage store. massage place for a pedicure, which he thought was just a fantastic idea for us to sit there and get a foot massage together. Oh, um, that's sweet. That's, that's not odd. So, no, not at like, all. Hey, just two, just two dudes, just two dudes having a gal's yeah. day. Yeah. Just two dudes <laughs> getting rubbed out. That's right. <laughs> oh man, if, Frank, if you're listening, I love you. And no, I did not get a foot massage. Just so that, just that, if anyone's uh, asking, Frank man, just got a hundred your... more followers on his YouTube channel to find out a little <laughs> bit more information about that foot rub. Exactly. Oh, uh, good Lord. <laughs> All right, we're about at bingo on this, and we need to let everybody know where to go. Nick, give your info, and then Matt, you and I need to let people know where to find us and what to do when they do Well, let's us. let's flip that around, guys. So reach out to us, number one, on Facebook. Private message us. Uh, if you want to chat, uh, like Greg said, we're starting to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is something we've never done before. Uh, we've mm -hmm. never offered it before. We've, we've been hounded, demanded, uh, sometimes physically accosted. Uh, basically, everything that you can do um, to, to get us into one-on-one -on -one coaching. Our initial idea was that we would coach people together, uh, like two-on-one. Oh, yeah. That that did not like we experimented with that. That did not work, right? So we're offering individual one-on-one -on -one coaching with either Greg or myself. And so if you are interested, reach out to us. Uh, it's about a $500 a month price point. It's a little less than that, but just just back of the napkin, $500 a month. It includes our upcoming Rockstar Agent Mastermind, which we haven't talked a lot about, um, mm -hmm. but that is weekly live training. So that's the base. And then one-on-one -on -one calls with either Greg or myself twice a month, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, so it's very personalized, very customized to you. Uh, it's all about how to apply the concepts that we talk about in the mastermind to your business, but also starting from your strengths and your superpowers and helping you to implement that one thing that you need to do right now that will explode your business. So that's what we're about. So if you want to chat about that, private message us. Uh, we will shoot you um, uh, or you link. can just do something way easier and just go to bookjohnson.com or bookmcdaniel.com. Yes. Uh, yes. I put the link in there for mine. Matt will put his link in in the notes here. If you guys want to do it, go ahead and find a time, and we'll chitty chat. That's right. Now, Nick, how do people reach you? Realestatemarketingrockstars.com. Mine's a little bit easier. It's free. Uh, that's cool hey. too, right? <laughs> no, so realestatemarketingrockstars.com is a Facebook group. I try to uh, bring some gold nuggets in there on a daily basis. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of interaction. It's a really good group, really fun group. We're growing on a daily basis. And uh, the product of the day is instantsocialproof.com. That is a four-day training. It is a limited time offer, $97 until October 31st. I will give you four days of mind-blowing Facebook training and more followers than you know what to do with. He's not, he's not kidding, guys. He really will. This is not just smoke being blown up your skirt. This actually does work. We are proof of that working. So we are at Bingo. We love you guys to pieces. We do the show for you because we love you. We want to see you guys become absolute just gangster up in your hood and just dominate the, 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 lo the local marketplace. And I know a lot of you guys are financially challenged at the moment, and that's why we do this show. But once you guys are in the position, reach out to us for coaching. If you never do, we still love you. And you know what? Go share this podcast with someone who needs it. So on that yeah. note, peace out, ninjas. We gone.